Okay, we're using implicit differentiation to find the derivative. Okay, whenever you do that, you want to find the derivative of each side. And whenever you find the derivative of something with a y, you just slap a dy dx after it. Okay, basically. So if you're looking at the at the left side, the derivative of cosine of y, okay, would be negative sine of y. Okay, we're going to put a, a dy dx after that because that involved a y. Okay, plus okay the derivative of sine of x. The derivative derivative of sine of x is cosine of x. Okay, that involves x, so don't put a dy dx after it. Equals the derivative of two y. Okay, the derivative of two y would be two, and then you write dy dx after it because it involved a y okay next thing you want to do is get all your dy dx's on one side so i'm going to add sine of y dy dx to both sides it may be a little bit easier okay when i do that I end up with cosine of x on the left and 2 dy dx plus sine of y dy dx. Okay, I'm going to factor out dy dx on the left. I'm sorry, on the right. And when I factor dy dx out, I would be left with dy dx times 2 plus sine of y. Okay, I'm almost done. All I want to do is get dy dx alone. Okay, to get dy dx alone, okay, it's multiplied to 2 plus sine of y. So I'm going to divide each side by 2 plus sine of y. Okay, so I know that's sloppy, but I'm left with cosine of x over 2 plus sine of y. Okay, so you find the derivative of everything as normal, but if it has a y involved with it, you put a dy dx after it. So we did that. Okay, I got all of my dy dx terms over on one side. I put them all on the right. Okay, I factored out the dy dx. And then after you do that, you just divide by whatever dy dx is multiplied to. And then that will give you the answer. Okay, I hope this helps. Thank you for watching.